Hey guys, okay, so today we're gonna build this really, really cool Steadicam arm. This is really cheap to build, it's extremely easy to build, you don't need any tools whatsoever. An eight-year-old can build it, and it stabilizes the Z-axis when you're using a handheld stabilizer, like the Glidecam, Flycam, or any of those gimbal stabilizers. And not only that, but it transfers the weight from your hands, which you would usually be using, to your shoulders and your core, which is much easier to sustain for a long period of time. So you can shoot for long events or even film shoots, and it's great. You can just shoot for long for a long time without getting tired. So I'm just going to take it apart for you guys, and then we'll see how it's built. Okay, so I've taken everything apart, and now let's just do a rundown of everything that you'll need for this project. Okay, so you'll need 16 aluminum mending plates. Um, a few square brackets, many, many 4mm bolts, many, many 4mm nuts, a few 4mm locking nuts, two really big 10mm bolts and nuts, a few 6mm nuts, um, and four of these weird door hinges, I think, or something like that, it's a hinge. Um, and then some rubber bands, and optionally a uh, bungee cord. This one here is used for hanging up laundry, so any anything elastic. And um, then you're good to go. Okay, um, first of all, take um, two of the door hinges and attach them using the square brackets and three mending plates. Okay, so now once you've done that, um, just make one exactly like it. And then attach the two as shown um, using the extra mending plates um, as a support for the, for the steady cam. Okay, so here it is, and you can see that I've got some other stuff here as well. Um, so now I'm just going to go through what you will need and how to actually use it so you can get some really cool shots. Okay, um, so what I've got here is a belt. Um, I found this at a charity shop. Um, I don't even know what it is. It looks Persian or something like that. But it's perfect for this, and it's got two carabiners in the end. Um, and it's it's made for this project. So if you can find something like this with carabiners or just a regular belt and attach some type of, of lock. 
Um, so first of all, I'm just gonna put this around um, my torso, like so. All right. Um, then I've got this um, vest. Uh, I got this at a car boot sale, and um, it's perfect for this project as well. But really, if you find any vest with some kind of pocket up front, um, um, that's perfect. And also, one thing to point out, I filled this front pocket um, with some plastic bags and a piece of PVC that I found lying around. And um, that's just to prevent the, the actual arm to start going about in it and, uh, and not stabilizing the shot so well. So if you can do something like that, that's perfect, but you can go without that. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go and put this on. Alright, okay. Then I'll just lock it in the back. Cool. Alright, then I'm just going to take the arm and place um, one of the ends, it doesn't really matter which one, one of the ends inside the PVC pipe that I've placed and get it nice and tight in there. Then I'm going to take the belt that I tied here earlier. Um, I'm just going to untie it and attach each end of the carabiner to these two holes on the door hinge right here. And there we go. Okay. Um, so then we're just gonna go ahead and put um, your study cam system. I've got this Yelangu S60T uh, study cam. It's really, really good. Um, definitely, I recommend this if you're looking for a budget. Um, um, steady cam system, it's really really cool, and just with an old Canon film camera on it. Um, and there we go. Uh, one extra thing to to do if you've got it is to attach a bungee cord, like this one here. This is to hang the laundry um, onto these holes here. I just need to take these buns off. And just put them in the holes right there. And just put it around your neck, like so. And this adds another angle of stabilization, which actually really, really works quite well. I think the camera um, is stabilized much better with this added on. Um, so, okay, here we go. And now you can see that if I keep this nice and stable, it will stabilize any z-axis movement that um, will occur if you're walking, even running, you can run with this thing. Um, <coughs> and it stabilizes everything. So, it's really, really cool. Then obviously I've got some more rubber bands. There we go, I think that's perfectly stable. There we go. Yeah, okay, perfect. I usually, when I operate it, I usually like to hold on <coughs> to, the, to the gimbal itself, or if I need to make a micro adjustment, uh, I like to hold the actual central pole. And then I can even fly it without hands and you can see any micro vibrations that I put onto it will be canceled by the rubber bands. And um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. And, it, and it, you can fly it without anything. And obviously you can uh, adjust the amount of rubber bands that you need for how heavy the uh, your system is. Um, obviously if you've got a rail system with a wireless solar focus, 
and the monitor. You're gonna need uh, many more rubber bands or springs. Springs work good as well. Um, <coughs> and if you've got the budget, I highly recommend to build multiple ones of these uh, of arms and then attach them using uh, more square brackets and hinges and uh, maybe it's make three and attach them three in a in a loop that will stabilize it way more and um, this is how real steady cams are made um, so uh, this this cost about um, fifty dollars and uh, um, you know a professional steady cam system could cost up to ten thousand um, invented by Garrett Brown so um, if you just make three of these and use <coughs> a cheap steady cam like this you're gonna have some really really cool steady shots um, for a fraction of the price so it, it's really really cool <coughs> I've got um, I just went out and made a little test uh, with this so we'll end the video on that <coughs>